It's lunchtime at the Chonghua Community and Aged Care Centre in Balkata, where some of its participants have hesitated to get the AstraZeneca vaccine, including 68-year-old Lewis Wong. Because I saw there is uh, some side effects for the blood coat, yeah, and also I saw one of my friends, he's uh, getting that one, he got a, he need to go to hospital and then uh, I'm scared of, of that. It happened to me as well. <laughs> Under a change to WA's vaccine rollout, over 60s will be eligible for the Pfizer jab at state-run clinics from Monday. That's great. I love it. Yeah, yeah. I will take. I will book for, for Pfizer. Yeah, as soon as possible. More than 84% of over 60s have received at least one dose, and more than 60% are fully vaccinated. A boost in Pfizer stocks has given the government the confidence to extend its availability. We want to get these numbers up and ensure they get vaccinated as a priority. The Council on the Ageing says there has been reluctance in some culturally diverse communities, in particular from European countries, where AstraZeneca was blocked. This is great news and hopefully it will encourage those who have been hesitant to go ahead and get the vaccine. Meanwhile, nearly 4,500 bookings were made on Monday after 12 to 15-year-olds became eligible for the jab. West Australians are likely to soon need both doses to get a vaccine passport. The Premier says implementing the passport won't require legislation but can be put in place through a public health order. It's likely to be needed to fly overseas, interstate and to attend major events. As to whether it gets to pubs, restaurants, cafes, workplaces, that's a decision for another day. We need to have every option on the table. Also not yet decided how long the vaccine passport will be required. Eliza Lashon, ABC News.